Hey there garden fans and welcome back to the Permaculture Homestead. This will probably be one of the quickest tours I give you. Just wanted to show everybody the uh, frost damage that we got this past week. Uh, frost does affect plants. It will kill any sensitive vegetation growing. And since we had a pretty unusually warm winter, a lot of my trees were putting out green growth and some of them were even fruiting. So just gonna walk around here real quick and show you some of the damage that I received. Um, you can probably kind of see right away that the flowers have been cooked off a little bit. On the peaches, uh, the peaches did seem to drop a little bit of fruit. Uh, there is still some fruit set on them, but things like my mulberry here, Pakistani mulberry, totally dead. And all the fruit set has been totally damaged. So there's really, really no save in this one. Um, when a frost comes, all the fluids in the cells freezes, it expands, it punctures the cell wall and it just basically kills any of the green vegetation. Uh, same thing with my fig. Frost came and destroyed the green vegetative growth. So I'll probably eventually end up pruning these back a little bit. I've just been so butt hurt lately that I didn't really want to. So uh, peaches kind of came through almost unscathed. Uh, dropped some of the flowers, but I think that these peaches in general were at a period where they'd flowered, they were pollinated, and they hadn't quite set fruit. So I kind of, I might be lucky with the peaches. Mulberries, not so much. Let me back up here and show you the other mulberry I got. This is a black mulberry. And I know if you just checked my video from last week, this thing was green and loaded with fruit. And now it's dead and fruitless. So you can even see some, oh look at this, you can even see where water has oozed out of the trunk a little bit. So I don't know how much trunk damage I may have, but once the sap starts flowing from the bottom of these trees, if it freezes, it stands to damage a tree. Uh, top of the hill, Jujube put on green growth and of course frostbitten dead now. I don't know how they'll recover. I hope they do. Obviously, I still pomegranates all gone dead and a video just last week obviously showed you that those were green and flowering, so that's going to set them back a little bit. I got a beauty berry right over there, dead. Leaves on it are all dead. I'm gonna step back to show you the plums. The green foliage on the plums did not really die back, but the fruit did. So this thing has got zero fruit on it, that's gonna make it, but we got green vegetation. So I'm probably gonna be waiting around a whole nother year to get fruit set on my plums. It looks dead. They're dead. So a lot, of, a lot of stuff dead, but you know the good thing about having a lot of diversity here on site is that yeah, I'll have something. So while I am you know a little upset, I know that somewhere down the road here I'm gonna have something that produces. The elderberries will produce. I'm pretty sure my autumn olive will produce. We'll get tons of blackberries still, tons of raspberries, lots of herbs still growing. Um, pawpaw put on one flower, and uh, that one flower obviously froze off and didn't quite make it. So. good thing is about that it might still continue to flower I'm not too sure but once again of course I'll keep you all up to date uh, some of my tender annuals 
like the peas peas took a little frost damage but they kind of bounced back already this week and started flowering so you know that's the update garden fans kind of wanted to walk around show you what has died and what's still around and the great thing about permaculture systems is the diversity. The amount of diversity I have here is really my saving grace. That's really how I hedged my bets. Uh, pineapple guava, they all got a little frost bitten as well. But they hadn't yet flowered, so, you know, I may still get fruit off the pineapple guava. And a lot of the other tender annuals I got out here are doing just fine. You know, fava beans looking fine salad greens still looking good and a lot of the herbs are just right on so while i've lost production on some of these trees and may not get it back i have production elsewhere that's gonna pick up the slack uh, appreciate y'all watching this one today guys please like share and subscribe as always and if you got any questions please just ask god bless